Hi, today we're gonna be using this crawler box supplies. Something spilled here and I just hope it didn't get to the art supplies, but anyway, let's see. Okay, first thing, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, this is an acrylic paint marker, black, a pencil, and shockers, tango blue with raspberry, I'm sure it's yummy. And of course a sticker. Here is the print, it's really cool, and the artist is... I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, I'm gonna botch it. And the paper is newsprint paper. That's interesting. Okay, I'm really curious what these are, because this is crayons, but usually, you know, crayons don't look like this. But let's go ahead and open it. You know what? No, I want to check the zine out first because they always have some tips and tricks and I have no idea how to tackle the crayons. So let's check this first. So first page, we have everything that is in the box. And then here is the artist and her works. And I must say, I really like them. They're nothing like I've seen before. And being quite honest, I was thinking recently about making a video where I do art with one line. So this box comes just in time. Here we go. Here are scroller tips. And we can see that you can hold the crayons in different ways. Because they are like tear shaped from what I see here. So you can either use the sharp edge, let's say, or the flat part. You can blend them apparently, that's good. What is that? Scratch it. Couple of ways to use this technique with the crayon. Scratch back into your work. What? You can remove the pigment and draw back into your crayon pigment on the page by going over the top of your crayons with something sharp, like a toothpick. Good for adding in tiny details, okay. Or with the paint pen, layer the paint pen over the crayons. Use the bulb and for a smoother lay down. Wait for the paint to dry, then lightly scratch back into it away to reveal color underneath. I don't know how that will work, but we'll try, I guess. Nice, and they give you some tips on how to actually make the drawing with one line. That's helpful. Place your paper on top of an object with texture, e.g. a metal mesh. And wrap your crayon over the page with the object underneath. Okay, well, I have a texture mat here, so we'll try that. I don't know what else I could use, but we'll figure something out. And here it shows that you can build the background first and then paint with the acrylic marker to create some silhouette that's also cool i have to say this definitely is outside of my comfort zone but you have to change things up once in a while so these are drawings from the 99th scroller books I know it had pastels in it, and I am aware that a lot of people don't like pastels. I don't like oil pastels, but I would like to try this kind of pastel. I think this is soft pastels. I don't think I've ever used them, but these are some works. And here are some more. I really like this one. Ooh, this one's pretty too. Paula mentioned. Ooh, and we also have some Greeks tree. Yeah, that's cool. And I think the most important part, the scroller challenge for this box is everything flows. Okay, well, now I think it's finally time to try our crayons out. Let's first see what the box itself says about them. So yeah, like I said, you can draw the fine lines with this side and full coverage, like you can lay them flat, fast saturation and soft shading. 
color stays on paper, not on hands. That's good because that's a very big problem with crayons that I always have very oily hands after. Oh, hi. I don't think you can be here now. They are big. I didn't expect them to be so big. And they feel interesting in the hand. Not like your regular crayons. I don't know what I would compare it to. Let's take our paper. Here's the paper and I'm gonna be honest, I don't expect a lot because it's very thin. 43 GSM, that's not a lot. Yeah, it, it just feels like, like your newspaper paper. At least I have a hundred pages, so I don't have to worry about running out. Ooh, that's that's interesting. It's definitely not very waxy. Okay, it looks like a crayon, right? But it doesn't feel so tacky like a regular crayon would. So I was supposed to get this box last month, I believe. Because this is a January box. And now it's February 14th. I got it yesterday. I know there were some issues with it. Namely, some supplies were sent somewhere where they shouldn't be sent or something like that. But it's here, so it's all good now. I really like the color selection of these crayons. Especially this blue is so pretty. But I like that we basically have the primary colors. We have our blue, red, and yellow but they're more muted. I don't know if you can see this yellow or this like creamy color in the camera. I can barely see it. I have to work really hard with it. Okay, let's try blending some colors. I'm not very good at this. Like here, this is nice, but I am still having troubles working with them. Because I don't, I don't know how to hold them. Sometimes they're doing like this nice, even layer, and sometimes they're like scratchy. Okay, yeah, I think I was holding it wrong because of that blend. <laughs> Let's try this texture thing here. I can see there's some texture. Let's see how that will work. Oh, that's cool. How about this mat? So this mat is like a lettery texture, but I guess this doesn't really show up on the mat. Like, yeah, it's a slight texture, but you can literally just achieve that from paper. Hi, what's up guys? Welcome to my cooking show. We'll be making pizza today. That could be cool, I guess, for like a polkado outfit. I don't know. I also brought in some money because as a child, I would do that with pencils. I guess you could do a lot of cool things with it since American quarters have all of these different things at the back but you would have to be very careful not to get anything else if you say want to put this ship you're like you're drawing water and you want to draw a ship what am I doing? I also want to swatch these I mean it, it's a pencil so I don't expect a lot doesn't even say what kind of pencil probably a plain HB and this marker, I wonder if it will bleed through the other side because, like I said, this paper is very thin, so there is a possibility. It's really thick and I'm not used to using that. Let's see if it went through the other way. Oh wow, it didn't. Huh, that's good. But there's one more thing that I have to try out. It's this chew bar. It looks more green than blue, but let's see how it tastes. Oh god, I can break my teeth on it. Well, it definitely is sour. I expected something softer, but I guess maybe during shipping something happened that it's harder. I forgot to talk about the other techniques, namely the scratching ones, so I recorded them afterwards and I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but it didn't work for me. I tried to use both a knife and a toothpick, but all I did was smudge the pen and the crayon around and disturb the paper. So I will not be using that in my drawings. Now for the actual drawing, I mean first drawing, I want to do something similar 
to this print that we got, but I want to focus on one face for now. I don't want to do all that because I feel like that's too much for now. But I will definitely try with a pencil first. I don't feel like going in with the pen right away. Absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, not a fan. How about I actually draw the face features first and then go from there? I hope this isn't cheating, but I really have troubles with just free drawing like that. Now let me use a kneaded eraser so that I still have the guidelines, but now I can actually draw with one line. Mm, no, I think I want to do this eye first so that then I can go from this eye this way. Now see, that's hard, because I don't want to just go over the same line, because it feels like a cop-out. Now this I like, but isn't this too small? Because like I said, this marker is really thick, so I don't know how that will work. Oh my god, I can't see. Yeah, um, let's try it again. Same drawing, bigger. Okay, now let's do it for real. It's getting hard to hold, but I don't want to up with this one line. Well, I had to stop there because I had something on the pen. It's it's fine, it's better than the previous ones for sure. And I will just let it dry and then I will use these to color. Now, I'm not sure how I want to color it yet, but I'll just let it do its thing. Okay, so this one, I guess I can say it's done. So I don't know what happened here. I tried to make it smoother, but again, I couldn't quite get it to be smooth. Now I want to draw something using the silhouette method. I'm afraid that if I put the pencil first and then the color, I won't be able to see the sketch. But I think if I did it the other way, so if I put the color first and then try to draw something with a pencil on it, that would be even worse. So I don't think I have any other options. So I want to draw a cut like laying on his back and he's tangled in yarn. Okay, let's pause a second. I just wanted to say please don't actually let your pets play with yarn or thread or anything like that or at least always supervise them because the string can get tangled in their intestines and cut through them. Keep your pets safe. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of anxious about this. I just hope that I can still see the sketch after I'm done. Okay, I can see the sketch in most places. I do want to go a little darker in some places, but it should be still fine. Okay, this grading came out much better than I expected. I think I'm starting to get how they work. So now I have to be really careful with this because 
see how this, if I wanted to just color it in, you couldn't see the paw. So what I want to do is leave a little space between like the head and the paw so that you can actually see that it's a cat. Okay, I think the crayons kind of broke the pen because earlier I was using it sideways a little like that and now I can't really use it. I have to like really press down a lot and still it's not great. So I'm just stuck doing it straight down. It picked up a little of the crayon. I don't know if you can see but there's a little bit of the red here. Yeah, the crayons said that they're not sticking to your fingers, but they sure are sticking to my pen. Okay, I took the nib out thinking I would put it in water and hopefully make it work again, but turns out that both sides look the same. So I will be drawing with the other side now and yep, it works now. I feel like that will be helpful to include on the packaging that the tip is double-sided. And well, I'm hoping that by the time this side dries out, the other side will reactivate being, you know, in paint all the time in there. I'm really happy that I managed to revive my pen and finish this drawing because I really, really like it. But I want to see one more thing. If it bled, wow, it didn't. I've never seen a paper that thin that wasn't a marker paper that didn't bleed. So I drew one last drawing off camera because I wanted to include parts from my both previous drawings in this one. So we have the gradient background and I wanted to make like a gradient heart here. And we have cats hugging and it's like one continuous line. Okay, so it's time for my final thoughts about this box. Honestly, I was a little apprehensive about these crayons. I think crayons are generally messy and not very pleasant to work with, but these definitely surprised me. I like how they feel in your hand and that you can use them in a lot of different ways. Next, we have the paint pen and it's just that a paint pen. One thing I could say is that I don't like how it dries up but that's not its fault, it's how the crayons react with it. The paper, I feel like, is the worst part of this box. Yes, I get that they wanted you to be able to do all these pattern things, but I didn't end up using it in my finished pieces, and I feel like it's something I could give up for better paper. Because even though I called them finished pieces, it's kind of hard to feel like they are, because the paper is so flimsy and it warps. The only genuinely good thing about it is the no bleed. But what did you think about this month's box? Let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye!